know where these come from, but we got two steers on this building. I don't know what that's all about. This must have been like something to hold. Like, look at the doorway here. Huge. Hold animals or I don't know. But we got some big old cow heads. Steers. Yeah, this is like 155th Street coming off the east side, FDR Drive, and here's a big exposure of the bedrock, Manhattan Schist. One of the bigger exposures you'll see of it. Be highly weathered. I seem to remember that there was this like bed cross cutting. It may be what I remember is that this gray, which is really, you know, pretty weathered, had transitioned to this schist here, which is lighter in color. Maybe for some reason, had been cleaned. I don't know, maybe there was some work here. There's definitely a transition from this lighter gray to this darker gray, though it looks pretty much like it's the same rock we can see in here what we've come to expect from I would say this is a schist although it's got some banding in it that you know almost nice but I think that this is Manhattan and there's no Fordham nice here so this is our schist we can see some nice mineral action and let's just go up a little bit further and see how groundwater is seeping through it and here you see more weathering and this big chunk right here with this crack in it that looks like it could break off and water seeping through the bedrock here and then you see it here drip drip dripping carrying with it um, sediment in a different environment this is what you would have happening say in a limestone and the water would dissolve calcite and then it would re-precipitate and form stalactites. But that's not what we have going on here because we're not precipitating any calcite. And then all the way up the wall, you can see water. That's Phragmites, a sure sign that there's water here. So there's probably water here all the time and then that wall back up in the back. So we've got a lot of seepage and weathering or infiltration and then the water seeping through the ground finding fissures and then we can imagine in the winter freezing and thawing headed up to 155th street on this amazingly blue cloud sky northwest cold front after yesterday's mugwort weather I wanted to mention one more thing with this big um, exposure of schist, which is, you may notice that it sort of has an angle to it, right? And there are two terms when geologists go out and talk about big rock units, which is how they're dipping in relation to a horizontal plane. So how is, if there's a horizontal plane, how is it dipping? And in this case, the rock is, I believe dipping up towards the right of the frame, but then there's a strike, which is if it's its overall orientation in sort of a, a in terms of cardinal points. So how is it dipping, and then how is it that dip tilted in relation to say north, south, east, west? So this overall I think has a strike that is kind of like westish i maybe you know southwestish northeastish and a dip which would be an angle from the horizontal and there's a special tool that people use called a brunton compass that helps figure that out so just thought i'd mention that 
just had a little accident here. This is a very exciting area. Maybe some of you have driven here, like because you went to a Yankee game or something. A lot of people drive fast down this road, but I'm behind the New Jersey barrier, so hopefully I'll be all right. So here we are at this wall and we can see right here that this is not granite and it could well be limestone or a dolomite and then I found a piece on the ground you can see this is the same thing and I threw it down first time this time and got this gray just slightly crystalline and we'll take it home I don't have any um, HCL today so we can't really do that but you might be able to just see it catching Sun and that's this massive rock which I think is similar to that one that we saw at that pump house and you can see it's all the way around here look at it magnificent holding up the bridge which is riverside drive from 135th down to 125th just to make no mistake this is a granite i love that fish here's the pillar going up to riverside drive and this is unmistakably granite. So we transition from this dolomite limestone into the granite that is the infrastructure of the park. So two different projects, the park and the bridge, which is what Riverside Drive is, again, from 135th, one 20th or so. Give you a sense of the scale here, right? This is a big wall that holds up this cast iron steel. It's not cast iron, this steel roadway that we all know if we live on the Upper West Side. Headed down by the new Columbia campus. We've been here, we're at Frederick Douglass, and we got a Sunday rally. finish up this little session of rock diary with a little dribble of hydrochloric acid on this to see what if it, if it reacts and if not we'll grind up a little powder oh my gosh I think we're getting a little bit of bubbling there so pretty clearly a limestone and Not much else really to say. Oh, actually, there is something else to say. This is a limestone that's different than what we've been looking at outside in so many of the buildings because this is um, a limestone that is formed as a chemical precipitate. It's not a collection of calcium carbonate 
uh, exoskeletons from marine organisms that have been sorted into a particular size or created what we called, you may remember, a shell hash. Instead, we've got a situation where warm ocean water was super saturated with calcite and it precipitated out as if it was snowing in the ocean. But it typically happens in a warm, very warm ocean and relatively shallow. And then it creates what you may have run into the other day in um, a question I asked you in the metamorphic video about lime mud. So it creates a lime mud, which is sort of the snow, the chemical precipitate of calcium carbonate. And then eventually it's been deposited, it's buried, and it is compressed and cemented and lithified. So here's how we can make, again, our calcium carbonate limestone that we found, I think in two locations now, the pump house for the Croton aqueduct and that magnificent wall that supports the Riverside, uh, the Riverside Drive bridge from 135th down to about 125th. And we're still reacting here.